Rated M for Mature. On this special edition of Playing Dead, we'll be discussing the recently announced DLC for Walking Dead Season 1 called 400 Days. I'm your host, AJ Locasio, and this is Playing Dead. So, guys, thank you for being here today. Uh, today I'm joined by Sean Ainsworth and Harrison Pink. Uh, can you guys tell me, what did you do on The Walking Dead 400 Days? Uh, I was the game's director, and I wrote some of it. And I was like, one of the two game designers on the project, the other one being Mark Darren. So 400 Days is a, is a DLC. Can you explain to me what does that mean exactly? Well, it's an additional episode that comes after season one. So do you need to have played the full season in order to enjoy it? You don't have to have played the entire season, although it's recommended. We think that the experience is way better if you, f if you finish the entire season first. Uh, why, why is it called 400 Days? That's such a... That's an intriguing well, name. Uh, we ended up coming up with 400 Days because that's the span of time the episode takes place over. We wanted to do something a little different, so we thought, you know, telling a really huge, expansive story was a nice way to go. So will this story have anything to do with Lee and Clementine? Um, I don't think so. Not I mean, directly, yeah. no. Yeah, it definitely takes place in the same world. Right. Um, you know, familiar areas. Uh, you'll, 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 it'll feel very similar in a lot of ways. What made you guys decide to do that as opposed to continuing the story of, of Lee and Clementine? We got together uh, after season one was finished and we said, we're going to do this downloadable content. And what is that going to be? And uh, I think all of us are really excited about the idea of just doing something different, uh, right. trying to kind of not do the same thing. I mean, that's what season two is for, right? I mean, we're going to go into season two and continue the story started in season one. Right. So we thought, if we're going to do this, let's touch on what we already know, but then we'll go off on a completely new direction and just kind of do some really exciting different yeah. stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We wanted to do it in such a way that it made sense for it to sort of live as its own entity. We didn't want to just feel like, Oh, here's an additional thing. Right. You know, yeah. we really wanted it to to be powerful and, and important um, in its own right, and we didn't we didn't think that just continuing a story that had finished so so you know successfully was the right way to do that. So, can you guys tell me anything about the episode? Is there anything different about this specific episode? You play as five separate people throughout the episode, and as you play these five different people, uh, their stories sort of intertwine in really interesting ways right. over that sort of 400 day period. You can actually play each of the short stories in any order that you want, and they'll still sort of connect up in the order that you play them. That's awesome. Yeah. It's like DuckTales. It is exactly like <laughs> DuckTales. <laughs> it's exactly like DuckTales. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like an anthology, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we've seen Creep Show or something like that, where right. uh, you have just different stories, except that these stories do intermingle. Like, Creep Show is one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, and there's a right. frame story. These are five stories that sort of overlap. Right. There are actually 27 characters yeah. in the episode. Yeah. It's a lot of guys. We crammed a lot of, right. of new, new characters into this episode. You know? Yeah. Just aside from the five characters you play, you meet, right. obviously, a host of interesting people in their journeys. So. That's a lot of people to love. Yep. <laughs> Dude, right. And, you know, it's, it's, it's actually yeah, kind of crazy. It's Because, like, for us, it's, it's a lot. I mean, we don't normally um, have That's that many people in one over episode. A whole season yeah. Or right, right. We have about. Um, I think it's like 70% of our character count for this episode is the entirety of season one yeah. of The Walking Dead, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it longer than another episode, or is it uh, I think it's the about same the same length. I think it's roughly the yeah. same length. Yeah, so obviously you know, there's five separate short stories, so they all sort of cram together to make the length of a normal episode of Walking Dead. So does decision making play in the same way as it did in the whole season one? Is it going to affect the outcome of... Uh, well, the episode it, definitely in different, a lot of different ways. Yeah, the, it's it's similar but different. Yeah, the way that the way that the decision making plays out in this episode. It's similar but different. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, you have these five short stories, so we wanted to make sure that choices mattered over a larger sort of period of time than like five, ten, fifteen, twenty minutes in, in a short story. So we right. had to, you know, we come up with interesting ways of having uh, these stories overlap in ways that your choices will matter from one story to the next. Also, you know, we don't really have um, the time in short story to build up the uh, emotional payoffs that you would normally build in a season. Right. A lot of these are trying to get to know these people very quickly and then sort of have to just make a decision. They do come back and affect 
things throughout the episode. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was gonna ask, will the choices that we've made in season one affect 400 days, and will the decisions that we make in 400 days affect season two? The choices that you made in season one will come into play in 400 days. And then the events of 400 days may or may not come into play in season two. Okay. May or may not. Depending. Depending on your choices. Yeah. Did you guys learn anything from season one that you uh, implemented into 400 days? There's a lot of things that we learned from th things that people really liked in season one. Right. Similar to that, you know, just what mechanics do people really, you know, appreciate and just sort of massaging those and adding things in that are similar to those but really new, new ways to interact with the game uh, that we haven't tried yet that I think people are going to really like. Sure. Will you guys be releasing 400 Days on the same platform as Season 1? Are we going to see anything new, maybe? Yeah. Um, it's going to be on all the platforms that Season 1 was on. And additionally, from what I hear, uh, Season 1 is going to be available on the PlayStation Vita. So, and it's going to be uh, have all the touch controls and all the, all the touch sensitivity that the Vita has enabled. Um, all our sort of tech wizards figured all that stuff out. And I think that if you buy Season 1, you also get 400 Days in that package on the Vita. So when do you guys plan on releasing 400 Days? Uh, this summer. Yes. Yep. Not a long wait at all. So how much is the DLC going to cost? Four ninety nine. That's it? Just like a regular episode. Yep, regular episode. Yep. Finally, the big question is, is there anything you guys can tell us about Season 2? It's going to be yeah. awesome. That's, that's all I can say. There's cool stuff a-brewing. Yeah. That's cool it? stuff abounds. Yeah. That's all you can tell me? Unfortunately so. Tell me something. Got to get uh, <laughs> it's Nick and on its way. Show. It's yeah. on its way. I can okay. tell you that much. So thank you guys for being on the show. And uh, Sean, thank you for your beard. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate I'm glad. it. So there you have it. 400 Days is coming out. Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and let us know what you guys think of 400 Days and what your hopes are for Season 2. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon on Playing Dead. Getting people's goat is always fun. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> Getting people's goat? Yeah. That was close. Got your goat.